going on guys? My name is Bryn Beer and I tattoo out of Crafted Fade Art Collective in Columbia City, Indiana. And right now we're at the Paint and Gypsy. Well, I've been in Kakana for, I think, four days now. First day I got in, I had amazingly terrible food poisoning. Uh, couldn't believe it. So I had to reschedule my client. Thank God I did have an open day. Um, then I did a portrait two days ago of a young lady's daughter. It was super cool. She was a great lady, super fun. Yesterday, I did a dark nun. We didn't get a finish. Uh, she's in the military. Today, she's actually on another military base out of state. She had to leave early. Uh, we did not get to finish the project, but we already scheduled it for the future. Today, I tattooed a super cool ancient aliens kind of style cover up on one of my friends. And now we've tattooed together uh, Lena Coleman, the owner of the painted gypsy. Super great, super blessed to be able to tattoo her. It's really cool. It was color, which just started doing color within like a year. So super fun exploring that kind of stuff. I've been tattooing for six years, five professionally. Oh man, that's a really crappy story. But uh, basically I was involved in some not so good dealings and was talking shit about a guy who was getting tattooed out of a garage and I got threatened. And if I didn't do a better tattoo, which I'd never tattooed before, um, I was gonna get my ass beat. And I look over a dude and he's like, dude, you should have just like came and left. You didn't need to talk shit. So I did a tattoo. Looking back, it was a coil machine. The capacitor was blown. There were not rubber bands, okay? And I did a cleaner tattoo than this guy that was uh, doing the tattoo, so. Uh, Soon after, bought an Amazon kit for $60 and <laughs> the legend began. So I started doing black and gray exclusively uh, three years ago. It was really, really challenging, so I didn't do color at all. And then I got picked up by this really great company and they had a color line and they're like, please try it out. Did a couple color pieces. I enjoyed myself so much. Like I couldn't believe it. I was so against color. I was like, the stuff isn't fun to do. It doesn't take well. I'm not good at it. Found out I was wrong. And uh, I really enjoy doing color now. And I have this amazing line um, from Certified Inks. If you guys don't know, check them out. They're US based and they're 100% vegan, cruelty free some great stuff um, and that's what I use now and uh, it's great doing a cover-up say most times it's not easy sometimes doing color versus just black silhouette stuff is easier sometimes it's harder today it was a super dynamic image on the realm of surrealism borderline illustrative i don't i don't really know what you if you would say that but uh yeah it's it's hard you gotta man the image has to be placed just right otherwise if your lights are in the wrong spot you're gonna see right through it and you know so we did that today Wisconsin's been freaking awesome. Man, I got a tattoo that just is like, so Wisconsin, it's Ernol with Wisconsin in the background. Like, I wanna come back again and again. I went to the Harley uh, Museum in Milwaukee. That place is nuts, super dope. I recommend, I'm now a hog member. I'd like to get sponsored by Harley Davidson. 
I definitely have to thank everybody who supports me, shows love. Um, all you people back home that come get tattooed by me in my studio, I love you. The committed people that I've tattooed in every studio I've ever tattooed in. All you people that support me on social media that I have yet to tattoo. I got a lot of people in Australia and UK now. Um, I'm making my way around the United States. Thank God, Wisconsin was super gracious. Uh, I can't wait to come back and tattoo more people here. Tomorrow I'll be in Beloit, Illinois, so I'll be taking care of that as well. But I just really, really wanna say thank you all so very, very much from the bottom of my heart. I would not be able to do this. Um, and I get to live my dream. And it's, it's the greatest thing ever. And thank you all. I'm so blessed. So, so blessed.